Florida Republicans are refusing to allow a Democratic state representative to take his seat until the current legislative session is nearly over. Daryl Campbell was elected to the Florida House on January 11th, but the Secretary of State appointed by Governor Ron DeSantis won't send a letter certifying his election until at least March 8th, which is just three days before the annual legislative session ends, reported the Sun Sentinel. Campbell told the newspaper, I remain hopeful. Am I surprised? I am not. It's just unfortunate that our constituents now are being faced with a situation where their voice does not get heard. Campbell went to Tallahassee to learn his way around and hoped to be sworn in next week when the full House of Representatives meets, but Secretary of State Laurel Lee won't send a letter to the legislature declaring him the winner of the universal primary election until March 8th, which would have been the date of a general election that ultimately was not needed because only Democrats came forward to run for the seat. Lee's communications director, Mallory Morgan, said, As a courtesy, we will send a letter to the House and the Senate listing the winners of the elections, but not until after the general election. Ultimately, it is up to the legislature to decide who has been elected and when to seat those members. The state constitution does make the House of Representatives the sole judge of the qualifications, elections, and returns of its members. So that allows House Speaker Chris Sprouls, a Republican, to make the final determination when Campbell might be seated. And GOP leadership has made it clear that that wouldn't happen until he's certified the winner. House Democratic leader Evan Jinn said, The Secretary of State has one job in this instance, and that's certifying the election. If anything, they've stopped all the parts from moving. They've completely put us on some sort of list of do not respond. I can't get any answers. Jin said he walked to the Secretary of State's office to get some answers, but he waited nearly four hours without a meeting. He said, no one has called or showed up. They're not responding to anyone. Neither myself as minority party leader, or more importantly, no one is responding to Representative-elect Campbell, and his ability to represent 170,000 people in Broward County has been nullified, Jin said. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe and join others who like their news raw too.